Welcome back to Terramine's how-to tutorial series. In today's video, we will show you how to deploy Terramine on AWS. Terramine's user activity monitoring and data loss prevention solutions are available as a private cloud deployment option on Amazon Web Services. To get started, you will need an AWS account and your Terramine license key. When logged into the Terramine website, hover over the product tab and select AWS deployment. From there, click on the Check Out Terramind on Amazon Marketplace, which will redirect you to Terramind's deployment page on AWS. Once there, click the Continue to Subscribe button on the top right-hand side. Accept the terms, and then continue to Configuration. You can choose the Fulfillment option, Software version, and Region from this page. Be sure to select a region closest to you for better overall performance. Once you have made your selections, click Continue to Launch. On the Launch This Software page, click on Choose Action and then select Launch through EC2. Once done, click Launch. Here we will need to select an instance type. While for this video we will select a T2 medium instance, Terramine recommends at least an M4 extra large for a typical deployment of up to 300 users. Once you have made your selection, click Review and Launch towards the bottom of the page. Review Instance Launch will show you all the details associated with your instance. Click Launch to accept the configurations and launch the instance. Once done, a window will pop up where you can choose an existing key pair or you can create a new key pair. From the first pull-down menu, select Create a new key pair and give it a name. Then select Download key pair and save the file in a secure place. Once done, click Launch. After a few seconds, the instance will be initialized. Click View Instances to see your newly created instance. You now need to assign an Elastic IP to the instance. Otherwise, each time you restart the instance, it's going to assign a new IP address, causing the Terminate agent to lose connection. To assign an Elastic IP, click the Elastic IPs under Network and Security from the left-hand sidebar. Then click the Allocate New Address button on the right-hand side of the screen. We can continue with the default settings on the Allocate New Address screen. Just press the Allocate button. Once the IP address is allocated, click the IP address to select it. Click the Actions menu on the top and then select Associate Address from the pop-up menu. Click the Instance box and select the Terramind EC2 instance you created earlier and then click the Associate button. Click Close to go back to the Instance menu. When the instance state display is running, it means it's now ready for a connection. We will use SSH to connect to the instance and set it up for a Terramind installation. If you are running Windows, you can use a tool like PuTTY or a similar utility for the SSH. When launching the command prompt, be sure you have administrative access. Type the following command prompt as seen on the screen. If you need to pause the video, go right ahead. Once done, go back to the AWS homepage and copy the public host name from your instance. Paste the host name just after the at symbol in the command prompt. The Termine server will be ready in a few minutes and you'll be given options to assign a role for the host. But before we do that, we need to complete a couple of other steps. Keep this command window open as we will need it to finalize the setup at a later stage. Before we proceed any further with the setup process, we need to determine if we want to use external databases or storage with the instance. External databases or storage are mandatory. However, you may want to use Amazon RDS as a database and Amazon S3 for screen and audio recordings. Using both RDS and S3 will improve the scalability of your platform and is recommended for deployments over 100 concurrent users. For this video, we will use external databases. First, we will create an RDS database. If you already know how to create an RDS database, you can skip the next section. From your EC2 management console, click Services from the top left-hand side. Then type RDS in the search field. A few options will show up. Select RDS Manage Relational Database Service from the list provided. On the left-hand menu bar, select Databases. Then click Create Database from the far right-hand side. For Engine options, select PostgreSQL. Then click Next. For this video, we will select the dev test use case. In real deployment, you will of course select the production use case. Then press Next. For this demo, we will use the RDS free tier option. 
This is great if you're running test databases and don't want to pay for its usage. Scroll down until you see the settings section. Now type a name into the database instance identifier field. Assign a master username and password. Here you can set up things like network and security, encryption, backup, and others. For this demo, we will leave them at their default settings. Now click Create Database. Once the instance is created, you will see a View Database Instant Details button. Click that. You will now see a summary of all your database details. Click the Databases link from the left tab to go to the list of databases. This will display the current status of the database under the Status column. Once it shows available, you are ready to use it. As mentioned before, Terramine doesn't need external databases and storage. However, Terramine uses file storage for screen recordings and S3 is an efficient, secure, scalable, and redundant solution to store objects within AWS. AWS Identity and Access Management enables you to manage access to AWS services and resources securely. Using IAM, you can create and manage AWS users and groups and use permissions to allow and deny their access to AWS resources. Go to the Instances screen from your EC2 management console. Here we will create an Identity and Access Management or IAM profile that's required to access any AWS S3 service. If you know how to create an IAM, you can skip this section. Make sure you have selected the instance you want to use. Click Actions on top of the instance name. From the menu, select Instance Settings and then select Attach Replace IAM Role. Once there, click Create New IAM Role. Then click Create Role. Select the default AWS service as the trusted entity. Then click Next Permissions. From the list of permission policies, select the one named Amazon S3 Full Access. We will skip the optional tag screen and go to the Create Role screen. Let's give it a name and then click Create Role. Optionally, you can add an elastic load balancer or an ELB in AWS. Terramine supports the AWS Classic ELB so that all HTTP, HTTPS, and TCP traffic can be used for the same VM. One benefit of using ELB is that you can manage your domain certificates from the AWS portal directly. However, please note that audio recording in Terramind won't work if you use an ELB. Additionally, it's only supported on single node deployments. You can, however, use a single master plus additional elastic or mining nodes with ELB. To set up ELB, click the load balancer link found under the load balancing section on the left hand sidebar. From there, click the create load balancer button on top. Then click the create button under the classic load balancer. We'll now be redirected to a step-by-step -step wizard to set up the load balancer. The first step is the defined load balancer screen. Here you will need to provide a name for the load balancer. We will need three protocols for the ELB, HTTP and two sets of TCP. The HTTP protocol should be there by default. If not, click the add button under the load balancer protocol. Select HTTP for both the load balancer protocol and the instance protocol. Assign 80 for both load balancer port and instance port. Now click the add button under the load balancer protocol. Select TCP for both load balancer protocol and instance protocol. Assign 443 for both load balancer port and instance port. Note that to use domain certificates, you can use HTTPS protocol instead of the TCP protocol for port 443. Click the add button again to create another row. Select TCP for both load balancer protocol and instance protocol once again. Assign 1000 for both load balancer port and instance port. Once complete, click the next assign security groups button at the bottom right corner of the screen to go to the next step. On the Assign Security Group screen, select a security group. If you need help with creating a security group, please consult Amazon's AWS documentation. Click the Next Configure Security Settings button at the bottom right corner of the screen to go to the next step. On the Configure Security Settings screen, you might see a warning that your load balancer isn't using a secure listener. You can ignore the message as Terramind will handle it. Click the Next Configure Health Check button at the bottom right corner of the screen to go to the next step. On the Configure Health Check screen, change the ping port to 443 and send the ping path to root. 
Click Next Add EC2 Instance button at the bottom right corner of the screen to go to the next step. On the Add EC2 Instance screen, select the instances you need from the list of running instances. Then click the Next Add Tags button on the bottom right corner of the screen to go to the next step. Tags are key value pairs used for metadata you can assign to an AWS resource. Tags make it easier to manage, search for, and filter resources. For the purpose of this demo, we will not use any tags. Click the Next Review and Create button at the bottom right corner of the screen to go to the next and last step of the wizard. On the Review screen, check to make sure all the settings are correct. Once satisfied, click the Create button. Once the load balancer is created, you will see a message saying successfully created load balancer. Now click the close button. You will now be taken back to the load balancer screen. Here you can see the status of your newly created load balancer. Note that it might take a few minutes for your load balancer to become active. Now that we've created the RDS database and an IAM for the S3 storage, we are now ready to continue with the rest of the setup process. Let's go back to the command prompt window. For the master role, let's give it a name and then press enter. Terramind will then ask if you want to use external databases. Type yes. Provide a database IP or host name, username, and password. Feel free to reuse the details from the RDS database we created earlier on in the process. Once you press enter, Terramind will initialize the database, tables, and required indexes automatically. It will then ask you if you want to use S3 for storage. Go back to the EC2 management console and select your instance. Click Actions on top of the instance name. From the menu, select Instance Settings and then select Attach Replace IAM Role. Let's expand the IAM Role pull down menu and select the IAM you want to use for the S3. You can use the IAM we created earlier on in the process. Click Apply and then Close to assign the IAM to the instance. Let's go back to the command prompt window once again. Type yes to the use S3 for storing data prompt and then press enter. Type yes once again to the create new buckets prompt. You will be creating three buckets. One for screen recordings, one for user content like mail attachments or printed documents, and the third one for application objects. Be sure to give unique names for each bucket. This will conclude the initial configuration of Terramind. You will now be presented with an HTTPS link. Click this link to continue with the rest of the Terramind configuration process. If you haven't assigned an SSL certificate, you may be prompted with a warning message. Most browsers will allow you to continue with an override action. If you are using Google Chrome, click the advanced link on the page and then select the proceed to option. You should now see the Terramind welcome screen. Select your language and time zone and then click continue. Next, you will be required to set up an email and a password to be used for the admin account. Click Continue once done. Now you will need to provide the license key. You can locate your license key from the Terramind portal. Enter the license key and click Continue. From here, all you will need to do is install the Terramind agent on the endpoints you want to monitor. For detailed instructions on how to install the Terramind agent, watch the video Downloading and Installing Terramind's Hidden Agent on our YouTube channel. OCR requires two nodes in addition to a master node. Let's start by creating the master virtual machine as usual. Then create two additional virtual machines. The first node will store the OCR videos. In Terramind, we will refer to it as TerraCV. The second node is for the OCR database. In Terramind, we will refer to it as Elastic. When creating the two virtual machines, make sure they are in the same security group as the master node. This will ensure that all three nodes will be able to communicate with one another. Once the virtual machines are created, we will use SSH to connect to the two instances and then set them up for the OCR. If you are on Windows, you can use a tool like PuTTY or a similar utility for the SSH. Let's start by setting up the TerraCV node. Launch the command prompt and make sure you have administrative access. Type the following command in the command prompt. If you need to pause the video, go right ahead. Now go to your AWS portal. From the Instances page, copy the public DNS IPv4 address for the TerraCV instance. Paste the address just after the at symbol in the command prompt. If prompted to confirm your connection, enter yes. 
When asked, type in Terra CV at the role master prompt. Now go back to your AWS portal. From the instances page, select the master instance. At the bottom of the screen, you will notice a description panel is shown. Copy or write down the private IP. On the command prompt window, type or paste this private IP address at the enter master address prompt. It will take a few minutes for Terramine to set up the Terra CV node. Next, we will set up the Elastic node following the same steps. Type the following command in the command prompt. If you need to pause the video, go right ahead. Now go to your AWS portal. From the Instances page, copy the public DNS IPv4 address for the Elastic instance. Paste the address just after the at symbol in the command prompt. If prompted to confirm your connection, enter yes. When asked, enter Elastic as the role master prompt. Now go back to your AWS portal. From the Instances page, select the Master Instance. At the bottom of the screen, you will notice a description panel is shown. Copy or write down the private IP. On the Command Prompt window, type or paste this private IP address at the Enter Master Address prompt. It will take a few minutes for Terramine to set up the Elastic node. As the final step in the OCR setup process, we will need to approve these two nodes in the Terramine dashboard of the main master server. Log into the Terramine dashboard for your master server. Click the cogwheel near the top right corner of the dashboard. Select Settings. Now click the Server Management tab. Under the Nodes section, you will notice the Screen Mining node and the Screen Mining Database node. Approve both nodes by clicking the Approve buttons. You are now all set up for the OCR reporting. If you enjoyed this video, click on the subscribe button below to view other tutorials from the Terramind YouTube channel.